In this tips and tricks video, I'm going to show you how you can create multiple copies of the same job that you've already created and already tool pathed up. So here you can see this panel that I've created and I want to produce quite a few of these. This is just a test. So if you take a look on the right hand side here under this arrow, you can see that I've got two tool paths, a drilling tool path, for the four holes and then a profile tool path which cuts the part out and it's also got four bridges that i can see which are denoted here 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 and here so the first thing that we need to do is turn off these tool paths the visibility of them and do that by clicking on the top light bulbs there and that will turn them off if you don't turn them off there is a chance that you could select the toolpath when you were trying to edit the vectors. So I would recommend turning them off. Right, so you can see in the middle that I've got my origin point or my datum, and I want to move that down to the bottom left, and I'm going to put this on a sheet that's, let's say, three foot long by one foot. So, First thing that I'm going to do is change that origin point. So to do that, go to model and then come down to set position. And then you want to choose bottom left pixel and then select OK. And then that changes the origin to be this bottom left position. Now, one thing to bear in mind when you do this is if I turn on these toolpaths again, you can see that they're still relative to the original origin point. So these are not in the correct place at the moment. So they need recalculating if you were to do that. Turn that off again. I'm not going to do that for the moment because we'll have to do this again in a moment anyway. Right, so let's make the actual model larger. At the moment, it's nine inches by nine inches. So if I come to model and then add border and rather than being symmetrical, I'm going to choose top and I'm going to add material onto this. So if I add three inches onto that, which will make it 12 inches or a foot, select OK. And you can see that it's now 12 inches. Do the same thing. Now I could have done this all in one go and I'm going to choose right and then I'm going to select 27, select OK and then this is 36 inches long. So I want to create a few copies of these. Let's say that what I want to do is flip these around 90 degrees. So I'm going to go into transform and then I get this transform icon when I select outside. And what I'm going to do is select that. So left click, hold it down. And I'm also going to press Alt on the keyboard, which will give me an angle snap. When I get to the 90 degrees, I can let go. Now, if I wanted to flip this the other way, I can do that as well. So mirror objects. And then I'm going to go, I'm not going to copy, and I'm going to go center. And I can close all of that. Now this is not really in the correct position. What I could do is just grab that like so and just move it down to wherever I wanted that to be. That's what a lot of people do. Or I could go back into the transform tool you see this blue dot here? That's denoted by the origin position for the transform there. So what I can do is change that to the bottom left, and then I can tell it how far indented from the edges that I want it to be. So let's say a quarter of an inch, either way. And then select apply. And then it will offset a quarter of an inch from the edge. Now, when you close this, just bear in mind that that will stay there. So if you want it to go back to the center every time, you need to click it back there. 
and then close. So with that in position, what I'm going to do is create a few copies of this. So if I go to block copy rotate and then the X gap, let's make that, let's say half an inch. And then I'm going to go to the right columns. Be honest, I haven't got a clue how many I can fit in here. So what I'm going to do is just guess let's say 10. If it comes over the edge of the sheet, then I can just delete the ones that are over the edge. I'll just do one row because I just want it to go in one direction. Select apply and then it creates copies. Now what's happened here is it's just going over the edge there and probably don't really want that what I could do is just move all of these over just slightly but what I'm going to do is change that X gap I'm using the quarter inch tool so I'm going to change that X gap let's make it 0.4 and apply let's see whether that fits in there okay so that fits in so I didn't want to want to really waste that material Okay, so let's delete those. I don't need them. And I've got these pieces. Now, if I wanted to, I'm not going to go into this, but I could mirror that over and then probably fit another row in between here. But I'm not going to do that. Right, so if I turn on my toolpaths again, you can see that it's still the original one in the incorrect position. So what I need to do is reassign all of these vectors to these toolpaths again so if i go to the drilling toolpath double click it and you can see that it still selected those four holes originally now if you just move this around or moved it somewhere you could just double click on it calculate it or even right click and calculate will do the same thing and it will just update that toolpath now because i've got a few more what i'm going to do is just draw the box around these so it selects all of those holes and then calculate so that one's updated now and then go to profile draw a right to left rectangle and it will just select the, all of them like so click calculate and then that updates that particular toolpath so now if I simulate the drilling, I've got all of my drilling and then simulate the toolpath and it's cut all of them out. So that's how you update your projects if you want to create multiple copies of a job.